Alright, so this time, we're gonna try to not jump off the side of the, the cliff here. That'd be a good idea. Hey, welcome back to more Zimbley Chronicles 2. I'm sorry, Matson. Last time, uh, Jin left our party and we reunited with everyone. And this time, um, I've actually made a bit of a change to what I want to do. You're all mine. Uh, so, first things first, we're actually not gonna be continuing on any further with the story because. I have decided uh, I do actually want to go and uh, get Poppy the Cutie Pie. Um, it's a very big upgrade for Tora. Uh, it's one of the best blades in the game. And it'll give me incentive to actually play as Tora because I really do. Um, but yeah. First things first, though. Um, now, we actually could have gotten Cutie Pie as soon... Well, actually... Oh, well, okay. Actually, this is the soonest that we can get Cutie Pie because obviously we need Tora in the party. Um, but yeah, it's as soon as this chapter starts, technically, um, but I I actually thought it was a little bit later than it was, that it that you could only start accessing it, but nope, it is just right now. Uh, we are heading back to that one chest that, again, I am like 90% sure is uh, the final tech manual for Tora. Uh, obviously that sounds like a lot less, but... You're all mine. Not the worst odds engaged. in the world. Okay, we just need to pop Zenobia on. And I'll probably also just... Oh, I've stopped popping Bridget my back on. My I've been so bored. I was about to that. It's so Zola. weird having You're all mine. Bridget not attached to Morag. It's definitely a way to show off Rex's Master Driver thing, but I still think the Master Driver is a load of bullshit. So, yeah. Okay, this will take a little bit of time, but it's, again, the main thing that we want right now is to grab that tech, <laughs> or the, that chest that we saw earlier, which was, I think it's if one more. Fight, they get one. Annoyingly, one of these guys has a taunt. Gotta go all the way around here, ignore the goldos. Oh, actually, yeah, I can pick that up. Um, so, when Mortha, again, I've mentioned so many times, is my favorite area in this game. Um, and one of my favorite areas just in video games in general. And a lot of it comes with the, the cutscene that we got at the end of last time. Which is the fact that the nobles are pretty heavy. I, I don't think it's technically explicitly ever said, but it basically is that the nobles are cute from, you know, they're obviously from whatever past state the world was in, but... Ow. But the fact that, you know, you have whatever it was that made Mortha the way that it is, also somehow did something to the people that, I mean, obviously, it's a pretty big change turning from a normal human into whatever the fuck a Goldo is. Uh, especially the last one that we saw. And it's, it's such a neat little little wrinkle in the story, how you do have this, you know, it's very much a, I mean, they, they're humanoid from the start, but obviously humanoid is very different from human, so having this, the fact that you do have the, the Gullos are, they're, again, they're a remnant of whatever past society was Moritha. It kind of recontextualizes a lot of things, and again, it makes the land of Moritha such an interesting area, uh, because it is just so different from everything else, because it is this, you know, again, it's, it's alien in the sense that it doesn't feel like it fits in the world in the best way possible. Like, there's... Uh, there's another area, um, or I think, well, okay, I'll, I'll use, I'll use, uh, I'll use one for example. The Bionis interior doesn't really feel like it fits in with the rest of the game. Like, obviously, you know, it, it makes sense from a lore perspective why you have this, um, and why you can go in there. But it's like, for, 
the vibe of the area, the, the appearance of it, it feels very different in, than everything else, and not in the best way. Um, if we also take, start taking in 3 as an example, um, Origin looks very different and I don't think it's in a good way. So it, it loses... Whatever. There we go. But it leads to the battle. Mm. Nah, I already said I would do it. Yeah, I've been like, oh, this fight takes a little longer than I expected. But I'm actually pretty sure that Quest is an early match. Not like the quickest in the world, but. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good quest. Uh, and if, if, if this isn't actually the tech manual, then, uh, whoops. But I'm, I'm pretty sure. Just like the master kind of stuff. Yeah, this more of it meets this, again, it's a very somber area that I feel like it's very difficult to do things like that in video games, having this... Not necessarily, like, saying the area isn't exactly right, but it's an unnerving area. Because, again, especially because the characters don't really know what's going on. Um, Rex kind of he has the thought, uh, so I definitely saw that as way good he picked up the ID card, but now it doesn't. Um, like, it's... The fact that it's not really ever commented on, the most you get is Jin says that, you know, this used to be where the architect was from, you get the ID card, and it's not brought up after that. Treasure acquired. And yes, Rebel Lab Club Quarterly. So with a Mirror Matter chip, uh, Mirror Matter chips are really good. Uh, I think they're one of the better ones in the game. Yeah. Uh, we got quite a few upgrades that we can get, but I'll wait on that. Uh, and we'll, we'll switch Tora into the lead. We'll, we'll actually play as Tora for a bit. But yeah, just... I love the land of Morotha so much, and I get why a lot of areas are propped up above it, because it is a very low-key area, but it's still just it's Let's so rest good. The spell. Let's get going. And we're talking to Tatazo. Hey, Dadapon. You feeling okay? Your fluff look ruffly. Huh? Oh, it Tora. Me not too bad. Tum Tum is quiet. Master Pon is careful with health, good food, much sleep, regular poo poo. Indeed, body of Dada Pon is temple. Oh, too much info for Tora. So then, why make grumble noise? Uh, well. Thing is, was thinking of making new mode for Poppy. Oh, Tora and Dadapon have same idea. Tora was thinking it about time Poppy got even more Poppy power. What? Tora think that too? Truly, Tora is Sonipon of Tatazo has Dadapon's ideas too. So. What was Dadapon's idea? Tell Dora! Dora excited! Okay, Dadapon will let Cat out from bag. Behold! Poppy's most super duper mode! Wh what's this? You like? Dora likes so much, run out of words, maybe? This mode called Super Fighter Mode! This poppy size of ten roses! More battle power than Titan Warship! What Dadapon thinking? 
Dadapon just take old poppy blueprint and enlarge? Dadapon thinking just like Banner. What? Tora not like great big poppy? Well, how about this? Huh? Oh. It's too small for Tora's eyesight. This is titchy, little poppy. Extreme compact. But what for? And you just changed size again. What good is itty bitty little poppy? Catch mice and rats, maybe? Tora not see? This poppy piddly buff can sneak in anywhere and no one know. And battle capabilities, same as normal poppy. Strong like ant. That upon all this a bit fur-brained. Not like little piddly poppy either. Well, let's hear Tora's silly idea then. Really want to hear? Really? All right. Tora suppose can share secret. Tora's big idea called Poppy Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie? Right, nearly. This Poppy become great big grown-up. Poppy should move to next phase of life. Tora and Poppy grow up together. Hmm. I know not meaning of cutie pie, but... Tora's unruly, lovable enthusiasm shine through very bright. Dadapon! Dadapon like it! Yes, Tora, this makes sense. For a change. Very well. Dadapon will get right to it. Lila, ready my things? Yes, Master Pon. At once. Hear that, Poppy? Master Pon and Dadapon will work in chamber for a little bit. Don't let anyone disturb very, very, very important work. Got it? Yes, Master Pon. Tora, what's the little ball of fur getting into this time? Unclear. It sounded like they were going to try to power up Poppy somehow. I also caught some bollocks about growing up and phase of life. You'd know. You're the master of talking bollocks. Huh? How dare you? Ugh. You know exactly what I mean. Well, I guess this means they're going to remodel Poppy. Guess so. Whatever it is, looks like they won't be coming out of there for a while. Nothing for it. Why don't we go and take a rest at the inn? working feverishly, not stop for food, sleep, or poo-poo. Tora, he doesn't know what's good for him sometimes. He's going to wake himself bored one of these days. My lady! Ta-da! Master plan of Tora complete! Master Plow. Sounds great. But what on earth is it, Tora? <laughs> Behold! Really something, huh? Behold! Final and bestest form of Poppy! My lady, are you quite all right? Yuck! Is this not too much? Only yesterday, 
Poppy was little, Tom. Maybe she grow too fast. Tora not care. Tora feel that Poppy is ready to be real grown up. Tora, can you really build such advanced robo woman? Dad upon Tora mean what he say. Destiny calling for Tora. Rude not to say hello back. Well said, my little Pom. Oh. <laughs> Will you get off me already? <laughs> Starts off powered up, puppy. We'll go and set that as our active. Now it's time to begin upgrading a puppy. Tora, I prepare a workshop for upgrade process. When I do this, you gather necessary materials. All right, Datapon. Wait, so extraction friends help too? Of course we'll help. Necessary material is ten golden cogs. Be found by salvaging. Give it to me then. Meh meh. Tora, Tora counting on Rexx. Mass punch to learn to do more things for herself. Puppy's so harsh. Puppy really doesn't have she's. How to shade sometimes, doesn't he? It's not that way, Tora. Tora not know what you mean. Tora not weird person like being insulted. Tora have no idea how Poppy ended up with a personality like this. To make Tora happy, Poppy learned to act more polite like Lila. Tora only saved because he not see how harsh Lila could be. When cleaning, Lila always tried to throw me out with the trash. When inside house, Master Pond generally fall into the same category as household waste. See? See? Lila had no more respect for than Poppy, really. You know, these two sisters, alright? That's complaining and more upgrading si little sister of Lila into wonderful new form. Lila having difficulty containing anticipation. Right you are, right you are. Toro, hurry and bring necessary materials. Of course, Datapon. What is the point of Master Pond getting motivated when Rex do all hard work? Puppy still too harsh. They just, like, forget that QT exists, I guess. I don't know why it's... Like, QT's fine. I just kind of forget she exists sometimes. Uh, of course, golden cogs we can grab from salvaging. Let's rest the out spell. here in Temperature. Dawn of Stone is a pretty good location for that. Uh, this is what Bring BAY is As a, a semi salvaging master, you will probably be fine. Bring something great. BAY. Huh. And I missed Ta. immediately. Onwards. Onwards. Winning. This one, uh, probably the longest thing about this quest is that it does have quite a few materials you need to grab, but, eh, we got Very nice. two there. What is inside box? Sweets or treats or socks? And, I mean, if we, if we're doing the salvaging anyways, we Bring might as well pick up everything from here? the chests, too. I mean, it would be Shouldn't a be waste long. not to. I probably could equip Praxis All to get a little right. bit more salvaging mastery. Poppy Buster could give me a little bit more salvaging. Um, oh, I about it. I well, okay, I have a couple of salvage for salvaging mastery. But. It's another two golden cogs. Very nice. Okay, I mean, we're getting two per, which is not bad. Plus, this means we'll have plenty more monies. Bring us back some local snacks, you hear? Shouldn't be too long. Now, Boris is, Boris, some of Boris's Yo. voice lines are Ta. real weird. All Very mouthy. Right. But yeah, that's this is. Oh, I love this the is smell of salvage. Probably the quickest one. Um, another two there. Oh, what got is oh, inside only one short. Sweets or treats. Very nice. I, I do kind of dislike how the game does just like forget that QT exists. Like they'll they'll use alpha what in a lot of cutscenes. Like QT great. never gets any shine. I get why they never use QT yep. high because it's optional. All but like, right. come on, you can use QT a little bit. QT is required. Winning. She really only shows up for you know the cutscenes at the end of chapter three, and that's about it. After that, it's pretty much all. Alpha. Very nice. But whatever. 
Grab all of that, head back to Gormont. Again, it's a little bit we I I'm not the biggest fan of that this opens up right now, but also Cutie Pie is so integral. Well, not integral. That was really so useful that like be dumb not to grab her. And it's a very big part of Tora and his character and being useful in battle. Having three blades is very nice. Ted, when I bring materials, welcome back, Tora. Preparation of workshop already. Me work on expansion parts now. Hello, you watch over. Make sure nobody distracts me. Even to Lila, Master Pond. Fuck, is gonna be grown up now? Isn't she gonna need new clothes? I mean, I think the one she has right now looks just fine. And what size changes is not exactly gonna fit, are they? Just because we're bigger than the clothes she's right now, things are gonna awkward fast. Exactly. It would be fair not to have any nice outfits to wear after a special upgrade anyway. Really? Mithra and Pyra both seem stylish with default look. Poppy is Blade too, so not really bothered about clothing. Can't have that, absolutely not. Blade or human, artificial or otherwise, should at least have some sense of modesty. Poppy not really understand. To think new costume important for an increasing sense of cool and new power. Fact of cool is very important. Very well, Lila will make new costume for little sister Poppy. Really? Big sis Lila make costume? Yes. Lila will not have many opportunities to do things for a sweet little sister. We'll make masterpiece costume. So they probably become grown up, want costume that look gra glamorous. Also, not losing sense of cute. Cute, also important. All things look cool and powerful. It's for power up after all. Man, man, that was a lot of requests. It's gonna fit that all into one design, eh? Is not possible? For sake of little sister Poppy, Lila will make anything possible. Thank you, big sis Lila. But to make such specific costume, Lila will probably need more materials. What kind of things you're after? Cubic diamond and ampler stigma. But well, again, we weave cloth important too. This sounds hard. Come on, Pepper, let's go find him. Understood. Pipe will bring very finest materials for new costume. The Genbu Weave Cloth is in Tantal. Um, you just buy those. Uh, fairly easily. At that. Um, that's the textile stop shop on the upper level. We'll have that. Really healthy. Nah, long journeys make Dora tired. That automatically activate. Okay, look fine there. I'm being very cautious to not accidentally activate any more quests. He's like, I don't want to have more on the plate than what we already have, so... Like, already I feel like I'm making a stretch doing this. But we'll pop over to here. Couple of Genbu weave cloth. Next up, the cubic diamonds are in a more ordained, best found in the old city of Tedim. Uh, which which one is that? Uh, okay, we're in Laborers Bridge. A couple areas right around here um, that are more hot locations for the diamonds. Bonk ourselves down here. Shatter a little not pony ankles and knees. Uh, Grammy not gonna get this much, I would imagine, for you know, diamond. Oh, I mean, that gave me was uh more minerals than I expected from an agronomy pot. And nothing on there. I think I actually went to the wrong one. Uh, yeah, again, I, I do wish that the collection points had... were less obtuse. Um, but they are very obtuse, so... Go up here, and I believe it's actually this one is the best for it? Yeah, it's mineralogy. Okay, I have level 3 mineralogy, which is pretty good. Yeah. So, pop to the ruined Laborers Bridge once again, just run back up. Pretty easy there. Uh, the final things, the Ambler Stigma, are... There's a bunch of points that we have, we already have six of them, and... We can grab quite a few more fairly easily. Somehow didn't get a single cubic diamond from that one. Come on. Lame. But it just do be like that sometimes. I think... Uh, mm, there's one that takes a little bit. 
quite a bit of time. Get, I just hope I already have Dora, materials. Just take a peek In here. my experience. We'll grab that. And there we go. Back down to Moritha. I don't know how they exactly know that, you know, things in Moritha exist, but, you know. Gameplay story, um, Man, separation. Long journeys make Dora tired. You need to have a reason why and sell off it's again. only available now, Dora, as opposed to earlier. Experience. Oh yeah, what, and we're doing, uh, our, oh, okay. Damn. Spot right there, um, can get you through pretty quick. Animal Stigma also, at, oh sorry, Cubic Diamonds are actually used for some pretty decent Let's stuff as well. But, again, it's... I'm going for the quickest things possible, so just constantly popping in and out of here. And once again, hop down, that should be fine. experience. And there we go. Pop on into Gormot once again, over to Torgoth, over to Tor's house. Yada yada yada. Phew. That was a slog. And wait for it to load in. Welcome back. Friends collect all materials for new outfit. Yes, everything we need is right here. Big Sis Lila, Poppy counting on Big Sis to make perfect outfit. Anything for sweet little sister Poppy. Lila make sure to meet all of her quests. Now Lila retired to other room to concentrate on outfit making. Oh, nice one was say he had something to talk to friends about. Going up, Poppy, I'll finish already. Might be soon to hope for that Poppy. Nice one was great investment, but even he never finished that quickly. This is only about getting Poppy herself uh, to make preparations for upgrade. Preparations? Like do warm-up exercise to get body ready? That not sound too hard. Proud... Poppy proud of ability to bend any joint in any direction. Special party tracker. Skill of Poppy. Friends want to see? No need for that, Lila think. Just make sure to talk to Master Bond. So, if we go over to his upstairs, looks like... Nope. Downstairs. Make sure I'm only talking to Tadazo and not the thing on the side there. What do you mean by getting Poppy ready? Exercise, Poppy, all ready for a warm up. Exercise, exercises? What Poppy are you talking about? Poppy thought maybe you need to do exercise to get ready for a big upgrade. Such a silly idea. What if you bleed not need exercises as long as your joints not rusty? Always ready to upgrade at full capacity. Anyway, Toro, please take Poppy and go to Golden Flight Deck at Argentum. Argentum? For what? Poppy needs to enroll at Blue Sky Uni Napon University for a day. You already organized trial attendance. It's in close, Poppy. To become true lady, proper education is essential. Learn many things at Blue Sky Napon University. Become educated. Is it possible to become educated in only one day? Tora, is it not necessity for sake of upgrade to send Poppy to university even if only for one day? Dad upon quite right, Tora understand. Well then, Poppy, go learn many things from teacher Fleecy Flossy at, Nop at Blue Sky Nopon University. Understood, Poppy will become perfect lady. Jesus, there's a lot of dialogue in this. And it's a little bit longer of a quest than I remembered. But I just don't think it's like a super duper long quest. We'll be able to finish it reasonably. That enough. was a slog. Let us go. Run on over to Felicity Flossy. Whoop. Welcome to Blue Sky Napon University. You are applicants for trial attendance? That is right. Popular to be a proper lady. To be lady? Please, Flossy, I don't know what you're talking about there, but let me get you started. On new lessons, anyway. If you keep up with us, it's a very end. You will be filled with power of education. So work hard to follow us. Understood. First period lesson, start right now. First period is forestry lesson. Now, Bobby, try to read text that's written on board. Uh, I'm not going to bother with this right now because I know we can't do it. Uh, but we need level 5 forestry for that. Forestry is one of the rarer ones um, in terms of... I will attend rare blades. At least for five. Uh, we got two there. Uh, we'll check with more egg first. I really hate the um fucking hate master driver so much. It just it's especially just like it's annoying more than anything else. 
Like, I rarely want to, you know, switch blades over to Rex. I'd rather have blades just equipped for, to him anyways. So, like, not really getting any... Looking forward to working you know, any from that. Score! So, like, what's the you point? Can count on me. But whatever. The forest really calms I'm your spirit. It. I bet I can wing it. This is what I'm good at. There we go. Interesting. Very interesting. Who is next? Is Poppy understanding properly? Yes, Poppy understands all about importance of forests. Forests and trees are important for build houses to live in and furniture for everyday life. Not just a place for monsters to live. Very good! Trees and forests also help purify water and even prevent natural disasters like landslides. It's way to provide beautiful and to safer heal hearts of people. Poppy understand, like scales for all from eyes of Poppy. Congratulations, Poppy, you successfully learned forestry! Now it's time for a second period lesson. Next up is observation class! It's a short period for so please come back when ready to begin a new lesson. Yes, teacher Fleecy Flossy. Speed through this. Two. It's like Peter's about observation! We can test for three number now! Test for Bobby is to do this for Snap on his merchant! Hello, Moose Gun, hello, Moose Place for me, friends. Yo, friends, me is Kuna, cool for name of Kung Kung. Who's that, Pishwedria? Yeah? Me is called Katata. One Nap out of three is merchant. Toppy, no witch! Correct choice! Bobby made very decisive decision there! Next question will be harder! What are those spells, friend? Thanks, Griff. Did you forget it? Hi there, my name's Chilo. Okay. Which of the streets pose while introducing themselves? Um, I actually didn't fully pay attention. I'm pretty sure it's Beltron. Uh, yeah. Go with Dancer! Probably very good at this! How do you find a skill of observation? Often there are slight changes, never missing a single thing! Good stuff for observation, very important skill in life and learning! If you try to hold an observation, she'll leave more in the future! Yes, teacher Felicity Flossy. Well, the next is there for you! Keep up good work! And I'm just gonna switch back to the normal. Um, back to our, our normal eight. Switch back to all rare blades, I should say. I will carry out my Do mission. That. I wish I could Even for people who aren't getting involved. Lesson is information civilization Like for first lesson, please text that is on board. This one, pretty easy. It's just level three ancient wisdom, which you well can get by himself. From time to time. Paying enough attention. Ancient civilization is very interesting indeed. Looks like Poppy understands writings on board quite well. Yes, teacher. Poppy now appreciates true importance of knowledge and develop and technology developed by ancient people. That work of ancient people when we never have rich society today. Thanks for the work, Poppy. Poppy passed their lesson per period lesson with flying color. We want this never, Poppy. Give up the work in fourth period. One more to go. To obtain true education, you need good physical ability and technique. Lately, physical ability and youth is on decline. Very sad. Don't be happy. You fail physical ability really better than lazy modern youth. What does Teacher Fleecy Fussy mean? This is what Teacher Fleecy Fussy mean! And yeah, she just, uh... Don't be afraid, she summons a dragon! More of a serpent. But like, it's... It should be pretty easy. It's level 50, so... Like, you can be a little bit underleveled if you're... Not, you know. If you're being a little bit less with the uh, with everything, you, this can be a little bit difficult. But mainly, it's just it's a very tanky enemy, so so take a long time. I'm just gonna speed through this. Fast forward and whatnot. So yeah.
Get back to do things a little bit differently because I'm going to actually show off what Numa is like in chain attacks. You can only use Numa in a chain attack when you are when she's active, but like why would you want to use anyone else? Like, doesn't really matter. I think if we... Yeah, I just think we would have wanted to get the, the light instead, but ah oh well. It's fine. Yeah, activates every single orb. Um, it's your most effective way of getting to the full gauge. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, if you get if you get five orbs, you're like almost guaranteed to get a full gauge if you have Numa active. So, like, yeah, get this. Numa is really good in chain attacks. Um, like, I mean, it's not like we're not doing any damage with this group. With, you know, with Poppy and Nia's, Nia's crew, but, I mean, compared to what Numa's doing, yeah. Nearly two million damage. Makes things a little bit, a little bit more manageable. But yeah, um, I'll speed up for the rest of this fight, I'm trying to take too much longer. Marn are really tough enemies, just mainly because they just have so much health. Lightning Storm is really like the only thing that does much damage um, that they can do, but just have so much health that it's, it takes forever to beat them. And then, like, that's not saying that Lightning Storm is nothing to worry about, but yeah, it's mostly just it takes a while to defeat Marin. I'll finish. Very impressive, Poppy. Poppy is first student to ever pass this fourth period lesson. I'm sure that last one even count as a lesson. That lesson not possible unless student is driver or blade. So Poppy is super educated lady now. Lady, I'm at this see flossy see. He's flossy not sure whether Poppy. Yeah, please flossy not sure whether Poppy true lady now. Can from Poppy has obtained power of education. Please flossy present Poppy with special graduation certificate. Only for student to clear all lessons. Congratulations on attending one day trial attendance of Blue Sky Napa University. Thank you, teacher Fleecy Flossy. Now preparation all complete. Come on, Poppy, we go back to final stage for upgrade process. I'll be all nervous and excited. So yeah, that's the okay. That's the surprisingly the only fight that's actually in this quest. Um, again, it takes a while. It's not super difficult, but again, taking a while is enough. Back into Senor Takazo. Poppy back now! Welcome back, Poppy. I feel that Poppy seemed already somehow more grown up already. Lila correct, Poppy is true lady now. Lila done with preparing new outfit. Perhaps you know for upgrade I'll finish too. Only one thing left, waiting for device to finish charging up. It won't be long until Poppy has a brand new form of her very own. Tell her I started to get nervous. So when we start the upgrade? Meh meh meh. Charging device take one week. Oh, how can it take a whole week for the thing to power up? It's only natural. How could Poppy require immense power? Not a simple easy process. I can't just wait around for a week, though. I go crazy for the anticipation. Is there any way of speeding up the charging process? Meh meh. Why don't you put energy full, energy full materials into charging device? Charging may be finished quicker. I think called EPAC must have shipped, but not the materials also okay. This plan probably would get many mercenaries to create many EPACs for us. Makes sense, guess? Maybe we'll do that. Staying there a little longer, right, Poppy? Poppy, okay to wait. Good luck with charging, everyone. 
Now, we do get a Merc mission, however... Where actually is the charging device? Here we are. Oh, okay. Um, the 50 volt battery that we can get from the, um, from that is 30 points in itself. Uh, these three are all single points, except for the screw coil, uh, which is, which is, screw coil is two points because, um, it, you can only get it later on, um, only in the third to last area of the game. Um. Like right near endgame that you have access to it finally. Uh, what what even is the quest? Or the the merc mission like? Uh, Thirty minutes. Uh, Mental rhythm tickets cosmos. So. Am I not transferring eh, to sure. Star. Why not? Alright, we'll go with As of your command. You. Sure. We'll go with you. Go and then we're looking for some mineralogy, some industry mastery. Um, At your command. I imagine I'll fit right in. Yeah, I'll be fine. Team E has been designated the name Erde Kaiser. Thank you, Erde Kaiser. 21 minutes. Ugh. Ugh. I might actually have time for that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll fill in a bunch of these. Um, as for where you can get these, uh, the gold condenser is from salvaging in Morardane. Um, probably the easiest one to get. The digital filaments, uh, you can get those salvaging in Indol or in Lefteria. Um, and the dynamo turbine, you can get from salvaging in the Cliffs of Moratha. I'm actually just gonna, just gonna call him back. Uh, I forgot actually how to do that. I think I can just, like, go out to Zeke and equip Cosmos and that'll cancel it. Ready yeah. for departure, Master. It's... 21 minutes. I Sadly, I do not have that time. Uh, luckily, this is a pretty... It's a close location. Um, we can just go... Ah, so we can go to Animum Dock. Because it, the, it's the one that's right across the... The, the one that we got Cassandra from. Is the, the salvage point. Meh. Luckily, I've got enough salvaging that I already had a ton. So, I just needed, what, again. 11 gold condensers or whatever? Um, I'll skip ahead to when I have those. More skipping ahead, yay. Took a little bit longer than I expected, but still, nonetheless, not too difficult. To grab, especially because I only actually ran into one enemy, which is at the very end, so I could have you know, jumped off the cliff afterwards. Let's go. You know, as you do. And I have exactly enough to charge everything up. Energy finally finished charging. Mass spawn. It really time now? Time has come, yes. Never pop to grow up and blossom to power up, lady. Poppy ready when Master Pawn ready. Leave it to Tora and Data Pawn. Internal pressure remain stable. Dad upon, crank up voltage a bit further. Tora, increasing load even more may be dangerous. Level's not there yet, Dad upon. We not cross the line, but we step on it. Okay, Lila, look closely at Meter Duda. Yes, Master Pan. Preparations are prepared! Lila, hit switch! Roger, Master Pawn. Oh 
okay, Poppy? Wakey, wakey! Hey, what's this? Leaving us in the dark? I... I can't see a thing. What? Did something go wrong? I don't know. The lights went out the first time we started Poppy up too. Remember? Isn't it taking a bit long though? Ah, yeah. Bolt or something. Everyone okay? I'm okay. But what about Poppy? How's she doing? to think there's something in Tora's science malarkey after all. Poppy's an adult now. Talk about a growth spit. What's up, Nia? Jealous much? Shut it, Zeke. Unless you want me to remodel your face. Come, Poppy! Give us demonstration of new power! Roger, roger, Master Pawn. Master Pon has own legs! Master Pon have very short legs. Much more efficient like this when Master Pon travel with Poppy. This very silly! And big disrespect to your Master Pon! <laughs> you look like Poppy's little teddy bear there, Tora. So bad. At least you don't have to walk. Tora does not like. Tora is grown up, big adult. Poppy, come on. Poppy. And so. We get Poppy Cutie Pie. Finish up Powered Up Poppy. You managed to make Poppy's new form, Poppy Cutie Pie, a reality, but Tadazo has already moved on to the next thing. Poppy Cutie Pie is largely regarded to be the single best blade in the entire game. She has a ton of attack power uh, by default. Um, not as. Well, actually, eh, that's actually kind of disappointing. Oh. I actually thought she had a lot higher than than that. Oh, you know what? Because she only has a level 1 CPU, doesn't she? Yeah, she has a level 2. But, regardless, I can just, like... Here, let's, let's just make... Eh? You should have all the technical manuals. Is there one in the final location that I'm forgetting about? Could be. I don't know. But, yeah, uh, Poppy Cutie Pie generally regarded to be the single best blade in the game for quite a few reasons. Uh, let's also just... Honestly, that's actually pretty good in combo. First, starting off with the arts that she has from being with Tora. Swooshing Slash does launch, Speedy Sword is break, Boom Boom Laser does extra damage to toppled, and Steady Beam uh, heals your damage when the arc connects. 
Poppy Cutie Pie is just the best by far. It Again, similar to Cosmos and Corvin can do a little bit of everything, uh, but it's kind of can do things better. All of these specials, of course, do have extra things with Poppy Swap. Poppy Ignition is a 5-hit move, 1 target with a uh, damage ratio of 300, 343, 80, 424, 64, 80. Neponic Axiom, uh, Axiom, I should say, is a 5-hit, uh, small AoE in that regard. Uh, 400, 444, 85, 25, 66, 09. Poppy Unlimited, 4 hits to 1 target. 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 748. And finally, here level 4 is Quantum Judgment, uh, which is a 10 hit, 575 damage ratio. Uh, the 2, 3, and 4 always will uh, pierce through guard. Uh, so that's very useful there. Reflection just has a flat chance to reflect attacks. Nice when it happens, but obviously Reflection is not going to be your best thing in general. Nano Machine Repair, restoring HP every second when at low HP. Tora tends to be pretty tanky anyways, so being at low HP for Tora can theoretically even be more than like max HP for Nia. And Overclock, extra damage when at max affinity. Of course, she already does a lot of damage, so that really helps. Kenai, Ancient Wisdom, Forestry. And again, just Cutie Pie is just really good in general. She does start off default as an Ice, uh, but again, we'll you know, be able to... There's definitely... I must be missing or forgetting about a technical manual somewhere. Um, I could have sworn that the one in Moritha was the last one. Okay, no, I am forgetting about one. Okay. Uh, I thought that was the last one, but no, there is one in the in the final area. Second to last area, whatever. But yeah, uh, that, yeah, bit of a, definitely a bit of an aside that I, I don't like the fact that I kind of had to, you know, break apart the story for it, but also Cutie Pie is so good, so worth it. But next time, we'll continue our exploration through Moritha. But until then, see you guys later.